Well, welcome everybody. Welcome Red X community, all you prospectors, all you followers, new agents, friends, family, um, everybody that continues to come day after day to keep learning about what we're doing here. This is a Red X show. This is where we bring amazing people to you to so that you can try to find more stability, find the opportunity in, in any market. We've just gone through this crazy you know, COVID crisis. Some markets are on the tail end of that. Some are, are spiking some, you know, but, but we believe that there's opportunity in any market. There was opportunity, opportunity during the recession. There's definitely opportunity now. So our goal is to bring people to you so that you can um, take what they're doing, how they've found success in, in any given market so that you can duplicate that. So welcome. If you can, let us know that everything's working. If the technology's working, if you can hear us, um, give us a shout out. Let us know where what market you're in so that we can start to see those those things come in. Um, we know that there's people joining us on YouTube, on Facebook, on our website, and uh, you know all the other platforms where we broadcast this to. So if I could get a thumbs up from the back back end, things are good to go with people commenting. Thanks so much. Well, look, our guest today is amazing. Welcome, Mariana. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's so, so good to have you here with us. Thank you for taking the time. I'm so happy um, to be here. Uh, yeah, well, we're happy. And you and you have an amazing story. And and Thank when you. we were talking right before the show started, um, I, just so everybody else, she started telling me this amazing story. I said, time out. This, you have to tell. <laughs> you, you know, you have to tell the audiences. But what, what I love, Mariana, is not only do you have an amazing story, but now you use that story try to inspire others, which is a big part of who you are. And, and why don't you just share that story with us to get going so people know who you are. Also share what market you're in and, and a few of the things about oh, your business, okay. but, but please tell your story. So I came to the US when I was 16 with my mom and I, my goal was to learn English and go back home. I was a singer since I was about four years old. So I was singing a lot of music um, with lyrics that I did not understand. <laughs> and no matter how much my voice was um, on point, uh, my soul wasn't because I couldn't understand or relate to what I was singing. I really wanted to learn English. So when I had the opportunity to come to the U.S., my, my dream was to become very independent, you know, to create, my own, to create my own story one way or another. I had no idea how I would do that. Um, however, I started by staying here um, when I was about just shy of 17. My mom had to go back to Brazil. So I stayed here with some friends and started on the path of cleaning houses, babysitting. Um, I had my first job was at Stop and Shop bagging groceries because I didn't know what how to speak English yet. You know, I was still very early on with my skills to speak English. So I could understand a lot of it, but I had the worst accent, couldn't really communicate. So I thought jobs like bagging groceries that I could say thank you and you're welcome and good morning and good night would be a good start. And of course, going to high school and um, making a long story short, I graduated high school. I started taking classes at the community college while cleaning houses. And this is when I really started struggling because I needed money to go to school. And I didn't really know what resources I had available to me. Today, I realized so many more resources were available to me and I just didn't know about them. So I'm becoming that person today that really cares about helping you know, young, talented people find these resources, especially if they're feeling like they don't have any ways out. You know, Feel free to give us a call no matter what business we're in. We're in the business of helping people. You know, so... I think one of the things that inspired me was when I was cleaning a house one day. And at this point, I was already living out of my car because I thought, I need money to go to school. I am always working and I'm going to get a babysitting job overnight. So what do I need a bed for? You know, I can get a gym membership. I'm going to go to the gym and that's where I'm going to shower. And I'm going to sleep out of the car for three nights a week. No big deal. So I did that for about a year and did babysitting overnight and saved up all my money. <laughs> and it got me through 23 months in real estate without a single paycheck. I didn't really have, a, again, I had a tough accent. I wasn't that confident in myself back then because I didn't speak the language. And I'm sure anyone that 
doesn't speak the language fluently yet knows what I'm talking about. Don't feel confident. So that means you're just not going to go out there. You're not going to put yourself out there. So it took me about 23 months and I was three weeks out and I had wait, like wait, back, back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up a little bit. What? Yeah. Why real estate? Where? T how did that come about? Well, the real estate was I found a check for thirty-eight thousand dollars sitting on a kitchen island, on a house that I was cleaning, and I used to babysit for that for that broker, which, by the way, I'm having lunch with next week. You know, <laughs> so it's like so cool because now we do business together. Like, so it's pretty awesome. It's like surreal sometimes, but. He was the one that came home that night. And I remember like, I was so worried about asking him what he did for a living. Cause I thought, when I get fired, like, is he going to think I was snooping around? Like, I can't lose this job, you know? So, but I, I just, that was the day I was like, you know what? I have nothing to lose. I can find another job cleaning. This is the kind of opportunity you have to ask. You know, otherwise it's a no anyway. So I'm like, he got home and I'm like, what do you do for a living? I found this check and I'm, blown away because this is what I've done for a whole two years and I've been cleaning and I've been working like 80 hours a week like how do you make this much money in a single check and it was like $38,000 and he goes I own a real estate company and I said how do I do that that was my answer and he said google it <laughs> that was it for me man <laughs> off I went to google <laughs> um so I went to google googled it up six months later I knocked on his door like hey I got a license now what do I do and of course he didn't need babysitting anymore. Like a few months later, like the relationship was still fine, but the babysitting outgrew the whole, you know, idea of what they needed my services for. But I never knew I was going for my license until I showed up and said, here it is. What do I do now? So I got into real estate in 2005. By the time I sold my first home, it was March 18th of March 19th of 2007. That was my first closing. And I got into real estate November 11th of 2005. So that's a long time without uh, that no permission. <laughs> <laughs> and still working a lot of hours, mind you. However, I think what I what I would say to new agents today, if I had an opportunity with somebody that's like in that first two years and they're like, man, this is so much harder than I thought. I think the biggest part of who I'm becoming today matters more to me than making a paycheck right away. I'm discovering, I'm discovering my own talents. Like every time I put myself in that position to try something I haven't tried or to take on a challenge that might scare me, I discover that even if I fail, I still get a little bit better than I was the last time. You know, and that's what kept me going. Like I would really do a bad job at a CMA and I'd be like half of the price that it was supposed to be. And then the next CMA, I was already like, oh, I was already with 20% vicinity. And then I learned how to really get good at it. And today I can pinpoint your house is going to sell for this. And 98% of my homes are selling in less than 30 days. That's 98% conversion ratio in 30 days on all of our listings. So we are doing an unbelievable job as a team marketing these properties. But that's because, again, my focus was the paycheck. My focus was who am I becoming? What am I learning? You know, and that would be probably the biggest feedback I would give to anyone that's struggling right now because that will likely keep them in and they will get through it for sure. Well, and I, and I, we talk about this, and we we see this a lot, especially with prospecting. That's a hard thing to do, and and a hard thing to maintain. You're dealing with rejection. You're doing this, um, but it, but but the mindset you're describing. If if I can continually worry about me, and am I getting better? And and the lesson learned. Um, what, one one of my favorite little formulas is is um, failure plus reflection equals success. Right. Okay. And, and so if the mindset is it's OK, I got to know it's OK, I got rejected. What do I learn? Um, it, then 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 the focus isn't on the rejection. I can get past that. So I think that's a great that's a great mindset nugget there. Yeah. And I, I, I I'm going to piggyback on that because it reminds me of a buddy of mine, Adam uh, Hergen Ralph, which, by the way, I can see if I can connect with you guys. But he runs a, a very large 
team in Vermont um, and beyond, and he has like over a thousand people on his team. So my aspiration is to have a, about a billion dollars in volume by 2023. And right now we're building a massive, massive systems around our lead generation to be able to achieve that. But to give you an idea, we have 11 million under contract right now. So in the middle of a pandemic. So, so we are not far from being able to leverage out what we have. The reason why I'm mentioning this is to go to show people that if that's where your focus is, you're going to go from cleaning a house to finding a $38,000 check to making a $38,000 check to then giving a $38,000 check, feeling like it was $3. Right. You know, and it's that's the mindset that I, I believe will really get anyone through. That's gotten me through. Yeah. But with Adam, the reason why I brought him up is because I've always found that it's important for you to look at people that are perhaps one level above where you are, and then one that's five levels above where you are, and then one that's 10 levels above where you are and befriend them all, right? Connect with them and be, don't be afraid to reach out. Like people called me today and said, hey, I'm struggling. Will you give me 15 minutes? I'll be like, I'm in the middle of an appointment right now, but yes, call Marissa. She's going to get you on my calendar. And it might take you two to three weeks to get in. You're going to get in. So don't be afraid to call those people that could really help you remember what's really, really important. Well, I love that. Thank you. And and that's a that's actually a great segue into kind of what we want to keep talking about is 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 you're saying go out and connect with these people. That's your superpower is yeah. connecting with people. Um, and and that's that. that's what we want to talk about today is your network, your sphere of influence. Um, um, that is the primary source of your business. You've been able to do um, over 10 million in volume every year for many, many, many years, just from word of mouth, just from your sphere of influence. Correct. Um, and, and I need to insert here for, for the listeners a little bit because they keep coming to our show and, and they know our software. A lot of them are our customers and, and they go, well, why do we keep talking about our sphere of influence? Aren't you guys a prospecting thing? And, and, and so I just want to make this statement now, if it hasn't been made obvious that we don't believe that prospecting means cold calling. We believe that prospecting is the act of going out and finding new business. The, the word comes from the prospectors who, who, who dig for gold. And, and so any, any act of any activity that's going out to find, to find gold is, is prospecting. And, and the reason why we keep bringing experts on sphere of influence and, and doing this is that I want, I want our customers to know that if, if you don't, if you don't, take the people you're prospecting from the leads that we can provide you. And once you make a connection and move them into your sphere of influence and have a systematic approach to be able to connect with them and continue to work with them and continue to help them and establish relationships, you'll never graduate from the daily grind of picking up the phone and cold calling. And, and, and we recognize that, that people need to build the sphere of influence because that, that is exponentially how you grow your business. Uh, beyond just the, the the cold calling type prospecting. So that's why we have you here. Talk to me a little bit. I mean, why, why, let's start with just why is your sphere so important, especially now with, mm -hmm. with the, the lens of COVID and crisis and, and talk to me about your sphere and why it's so important. So first and foremost, what you said was spot on. I mean, I can, I can give you, I can give you three things that I think would really uh, enhance how important this is okay so the first one is hold, that hold on everybody i just want everybody to grab a pen here because <laughs> when somebody says i'm going to give you three steps three steps um, it, three, these three. are the things you're going to take and go implement into your business so i'm ready i've got my pen i'm ready so one is called go deeper not wider so okay. here's what that thought causes me here's what that single phrase causes me to think I'll give you a perfect example. I met a guy, which I'm going to show you a video today. He's actually one of the guys that did a testimonial for me through video. I've known him now for just about since 2007, so 13 years. He never purchased a house with me up until today, ever. We've been in touch for 13 years, and he's never actually sold a home. However, today... 
I have the great news to tell you that not only is he listing his million dollar property with me, he also referred me to, can you guys see me okay? Can you hear me okay? Yep. He also referred me to three other people because he is like the leader of sort of a pack of friends that when one moves, they all want to go. Like if one is going to go to the beach, they all want to go to the beach. If one is going to go to Florida, they all want to go to Florida. So they actually purchased this development together and developed three houses on like that street. And that's like their, their friends right across from each other. So he's now, oh, so you're going to sell mine and Don's and Al's. And they're all waterfront, okay? So then on top of that, they all want to buy homes in Florida. And I happen to have a team down there too. So now I can refer them all down to my team in Florida. And then on top of that, they also want to buy a second home on Cape Cod because they definitely, I mean, they want to size, but they don't want to give up Cape Cod. So what's that, nine transactions, right? So here's why I say go deeper, not wider. And this is where I share, actually, I could probably share my screen because I believe that I have this on a presentation that I put together for you guys to give you a little bit of a visual. Let me go grab it. So one of the things I usually say. Hold on, Mariana. I just want to make yeah. sure. Can I get a thumbs up from somebody that if we could see that good and comments from anybody watching? Make sure we can see that. OK, I think we're good. OK. So here's what I would say. One of my favorite quotes in the be that I learned in the beginning of my career was, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. So here's what I relate to, and that's number two for me. So first one is go deeper, not wider. Number two is show that you care. Because if you don't show you care, eventually you will always have to be the one chasing them. But if you become a part of that, circle that they really feel cares about them that you're putting their best interest first no matter what during this 13 years i've known this guy he's called me four times is it the right time to sell my house i'm like nope not yet not for what you want to do not yet so you have to be willing to have the courage too to turn down a deal now to get a few deals later and that's number three transactions come way before relationships. Relationships matter way more than transactions. Right. So you have to be willing to make that sacrifice now for perhaps having more growth later. Does that make sense? Absolutely, yeah. I think the, what you're saying is the relationships matter. I, I'd love to go back um, to number two a little bit. Yeah. Um, and, and ask how. How do you do that? I mean, obviously this works because of the, the story you just told, nine transactions, waterfronts. I'm sure this is not a low amount of volume in business, right? Um, no, so, not at all. So, so how, how do you put, how do you show that you care and put their best interest first? Um, you broke up. Can you repeat that? So I make sure I give you a straight answer. I, I was just asking how. On number two, show you care. How do you do that? So first, um, honesty, integrity should, you should never sacrifice integrity for growth. That's one of my laws with myself. Um, so I think the first thing is people will test you. I honestly believe my clients test me sometimes on a house that most realtors would have told them, bye, 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 bye now. And I'm, I go in there and I'm like, I don't think it's the best deal you can get. I think you can do better. So I think having that honesty immediately will show them you care. Yeah. Because otherwise you would be the one trying to sell every single house, right? Um, the second thing that I do is I go beyond their real estate needs. Showing, showing you care for me is knowing the plumber, knowing the plasterer, knowing the painter, knowing the babysitter, knowing the hairdresser down the street, um, knowing the person that's gonna come to their house and do their nails on their day off knowing a person that can come and give them a massage if they're stressed out, right? So we've put together the referred specialists of Cape Cod um, that now has become a much bigger network than that. We're actually now launching a bigger division of that. But we started with Cape Cod and these are all people that we know will take good care of our clients and our clients know that we're a one-stop shop. And I think that when you really um, become more than just the real estate advisor and instead you become the connector, 
You become the connector for anything they need. And that's how you lose value. So here's how I would highlight why that's so important. I opened Dream Homes and Estates in 2014. And at that time, I was running a business of about 11 million, 100% by referral. I sold 42 homes the year before without an assistant by myself in a second home market, working about 80, 90 hours a week. And then I got into Keller Williams in 2014 um, as a broker. So I'm an associate broker of the company. And I basically got my own dream uh, international company powered by Keller Williams Realty. And why I bring that up is because I started growing a team, meaning I knew that I had hit what I what I call my natural ceiling of achievement, which I also happen to have on a screen. <laughs> so I can share that with you guys as well. Let me show you what that looks like. A lot of these things that I talk about all the time. Can you see my screen still? Uh-huh. Yep. Show you care. So give me one second, you guys, because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my phone on airplane real quick because it's rang like 15 times since I've been here and I don't want the distraction. So, okay, so here's what we do. Let me show you the slide that I want you to see. This one. So, let, so if, I can, if I can put you on the spot, yeah. are, these, are these slides, because we're already getting questions of, of if people can can get a copy of these slides. Of course, there'll be videos in here. I'm gonna have everything on my website for you guys. So all you need to do is I'll give you an email at the end, which I actually have as my name, Mariana at iDream International. You can also do team at iDreamInternational.com. Just send an email and my team will get you the link that goes straight to the page on the website that will have this for you. Great, thank you. Okay? So here's what was happening to me. I was running with my drive, my enthusiasm, my intuition, my natural behavior, and being very spontaneous, you know, able to make a decision. However, what kept happening is that I was burning myself out. <laughs> See, I have a tan, it's summer. I would have been the whitest Brazilian girl on Cape Cod if it was at that time, because I was always working. And I literally would wake up, go to work, work probably in, 16, 17, 18 hour day, sleep four hours, go back to work. I couldn't sustain it anymore. Right. I was working harder, not smarter. Right. So basically what I'm trying to get to is it wasn't until I really started adding strategic models to my company, including growing a team that could help me grow the company and grow this into an empire that I believe it deserves to be for the mission that we're on. And I realized that I needed to grow a team. And then what happened is where is my time to degenerate three hours a day, four hours a day? Where's my time to show houses? I have to interview. I have to train. I have to go through the hiring recruiting process. I have to basically be the president of a company and run the entire office. Where is my time to be an agent? And the answer is, there wasn't any. I had to give up. Um, I had to give up some things. However, you said it yourself, my business never went below that 11 million by referral. Because I had what I call your, your true fans. I have a slide without, which I'll share with you guys. Uh, my favorite book by Ken Blanchard. It is like, I love books that are 90 minute reads. If you give me something this big, I'm gonna be like, nice, where's the audio? <laughs> I can't right. do it. But if you give me like a 90 minute book, like a thin book, I'm gonna read it like that. This book is called Raving Fans. Yep. And that book is a great example of this. Those raving fans will lift you up through your growth. And they'll be the first ones that you can call and say, hi, the next two years of my team is gonna be a little messy. I'm really going to need you to be a part of this with me. I really need you to understand that nobody's perfect. We're going to be looking at progress over perfection, but you can help me make it better. So if something happens, let us know. We will improve, but please don't be mad at us. We're doing our best. And he was preparing those clients. Now, how would that conversation go with somebody that doesn't know you? Right. That doesn't like you. That doesn't trust you. Do you think they would still hire you? 
Probably right, no. not. Right? So that's where the caring comes in. Right? And and once you care for them, that will be reciprocated. They will care for you too. And they're gonna be they're gonna help you lift through that natural ceiling of achievement. Does that make sense? Any questions it from does. anyone? Yeah, please ask questions and, and, and we'll ask them for you. Just drop those in the Great. comments and yeah. and uh, we'll make sure that 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 we can ask those questions. Um, wh while while we're waiting for those, I have a question. I, I mean, so you gave us some already some really tactical things that, that we need to be thinking about as we look at our sphere, as we work our sphere. Your production kind of answers um, a, a lot of, of the original question, why is this so important? Well, 11 million dollars in production year after year after year from just referral business is probably why your sphere of influence is so so important um what are you doing uh, tell us more about what are you doing right now with your sphere to 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 get that business to come in right because you can't just obviously they have to know you're an agent you can't there there's this weird line of relationship and business and and how do you how do you turn that that network into into tr transactions? I know that you said the relationship comes first, but obviously they're turning into transactions if you're doing that much volume just from referrals. So, just to give you an idea of how the go deeper, not wider, really works out, is because now your people that care for you. Let's say you even start with one. A lot of people get caught in the and they don't do anything because they're like, well, she's got 12,000 people in her database. I mean, that's insane. Like I'm, I can't even measure like, oh, that's too much. Like, don't think about that. I guys, I didn't speak English. I stayed in this country alone. I also didn't know anyone and I barely could speak. So if I can build that kind of database, so can you. And what it comes down to is just start with one. And then when you have that, when you feel like you're, okay, today I'm not calling you to talk to you. I'll give you a quick script, right? So let's say you talked about how Red X really helps people with getting phone numbers for prospecting. Let's say a new house comes up in the market right now. What I coach my agents to do in my team is whether it's my listing or not, it doesn't matter. Pick up the phone and call the neighborhood. Hey guys, we have a new, we have a new listing in your, in your area. I just wanted to inform you. I'm wondering if you've already seen it. I know a lot of people are wondering what's happening right now to the market. I just wanted to give you a call, introduce myself, let you know that I'm the mayor of this neighborhood. Everything that happens in this area, you can give me a call. If you need a painter, a plumber, a plaster, whatever, give me a call, you know? And by the way, if you ever think about buying, selling, of course I would be honored to be of assistance to you. You know, I, of course, if you know of someone to sell or buy i my job is to be of service anyone i can help get what they want i'm happy right and that and that's how you can use this system to start reaching out to just other agents you know listings and let other people know about what's happening to that neighborhood so there's so many ways that you can go deeper and i think the contractors for me is a big piece of how people keep calling because after a decade after the house is sold i've had people that have bought six homes seven homes with me like the same people right and that's because they they get there and then they're like you know i think i want to invest a home mariana knows all the guys maybe i can buy a house that needs some work and flip it so you, can you, you have that book of contractors and connectors you got it so you, it starts to open up all these possibilities but people are like why am i going to call contractors i mean they're not going to give me anything wrong those contractors are also investing those contractors are in the house before you are right so be mindful like what are the things that everyone else is doing you can go do that or you can go do what no one else is doing and make that your thing Oh, so so you you start with these people and you're adding them in. What what what's the communication or contact schedule? You know oh, how often you interact with with each of your people in your database and how? So right now, I will be the first one to say the majority of the lead generation is happening right here through my phone. Okay, so I will tell you. Let me go to my presentation again. 
And this would be um, right here, the best slide to show you. Okay. Actually, nope, that's not it. Different presentation. We get the right one. Get out of there. Get out of there. Well, anyway, you fixed this for me, but now it's like not letting me get out of here. You see why. There you go. Don't save because I don't need that one. This one. There you go. So this is one of the things that I did. I created a twin for myself. Two video. So okay. this is what I coach on a lot. I'm actually helping a lot of businesses implement the same models that I'm implementing in my dream right now. How I stay in touch with them is we're creating a huge campaign through video and all of it is being done uh, through my, I, I own a production company today because I delved so much into video, but I actually started teaching with just my, you know, my iPhone, recording with just my iPhone. So on my website, to anyone that wants it, again, put it in the email. Marissa will give you some instructions on how to access it. And I'll have some pages showing you guys all the videos I've recorded and how I leverage my conversations. So I always ask people, can you imagine if you were to start putting all the most frequently asked questions that your clients have throughout a transaction through video? And then take it beyond that and start to educate them on content marketing through video. So I made that my one thing. I reserve one hour for video every day because the body language that you, when you're talking to people on the phone, you're only going to pass across about 7% of what you're really saying. That's why there's so many times that you call a client to go through 20 minutes of conversation and then boom, like five minutes later, somebody else is calling you because they couldn't pass it across or because they couldn't understand and they had further questions. So the video serves two purposes. One, they're going to get more of that communication because they can see your tone, you know, they can hear your tonality, they can see your body language, they can see you, they can hear your words. And they can now share that video with whoever has the same question. So you don't have to have that same conversation again. And 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 so you're sending, so I, I'm trying to, I want to make sure that that anybody that's watching can start somewhere with this. So you're saying, you know, you started by just doing a selfie video on your iPhone. Um, and, and then do you send that via email? Are you sending that? Yeah. Uh, are you sending I actually put that all on a, on a page on my website. But in the beginning, I had them all on YouTube and I would just send them a link. Okay. Today I have it on the website, all in one page, which you guys again can access if you know you you follow up with an email to us. We will make sure to get it to you. And what I will say is that these right here are the concepts, the videos that I thought saved me the most time. You know, why a team? If you're a single agent, why working with a single agent? There's pros and cons to everything. Right. So getting yourself on video, talking to people, why is it important to get pre-approved before you start looking at houses? What does the process of the offer look like? You know, why shouldn't you call the sign? And if you call the sign, what should you be aware of? Right. <laughs> Don't call so, them. <laughs> all these little things I put together to help me save time. But also, this is what helps my clients share these videos with their friends. So the reason why I'm bringing this up, yeah. when you say, how do you stay in touch with them, is they always have a friend looking and they come to me for the videos. Mariana, I know I love your videos. My friend has this question. Can you send me that video? And that's what's happening right now. They're asking me to share the video so that they can send it to a friend that's in the process of looking. Well, well, and this is this is not a new concept. Um, not at all. It, it's a new concept in in real estate. I think I think you're you're pulling off really well. Even for our business, this concept of inbound marketing is if yeah. you provide enough value, people are going to reach out to you. Um, and is it better when customers call you than you have to reach out to get, you know, to the best. I, I couldn't do it the other way anymore. <laughs> I, um, I will tell you I'm spoiled. I mean, I'm sure I would do a great job, but I have to work with people. I love, I have to work with people. I really care for, I have to work with people that respect my boundaries, right. you know? And, um, I think that it took me a long time to get here. Well, I, I, and I, yeah, I love that you say that because, because expectations of, of investment is so important with any system that you implement in your business. It's the same as if you decide to cart, start calling for sale by owners. I mean, you may not see success right away. You've got to hone those skills. You got to go back to that mindset that you talked about of, of every, every failure is, is more of about how do I get better and, and, 
and progress. Yes, like failing uh, forward. Failing yeah. forward. Right? We hear yeah. that. Well, yeah. and, and if people fail forward long enough, <laughs> they'll have a they huge database of people reaching out to them. Now, do you yeah. have any other ongoing automation? I mean, do you send a newsletter? I do. Let me share that with you, too. And the automation that we're creating now is called a 36 touch. And that is going to be one video every 10 days automatically along the free guide that they can download. So it's going to be video with the explanation and then free guide that they can download right on the website. So if they, um, and, and I'll show you some of the topics so we can, you can know more what I'm talking about. While you're pulling that up, are, are all of these people, um, how do they get into your database? I mean, it's, you're talking with people all the time. You're, you're, you're coaching even your agents to get on the phone and do just listed and just sold call around the neighborhood. Is it, is it pretty much anybody that says, sure, you can send me info. You just, you put them into these systems. No, not necessarily. Okay. So the, depends honestly on how they got to us. Okay. If, um, we, if they got to us through like a Zillow lead, we've actually separated five different, eight by eight. So right now we're in the process of creating all of these into everyone that's currently being coached through us. Uh, they have access to all of this. Eventually what I'm doing is launching a really special network called the dream world. And I'm going to be interviewing agents from all companies. You don't have to be a part of a specific company. You don't have to join mine, but, but what you're doing is joining my network. So we're going to talk about values aligning because my clients are starting to come to me now for houses like all over the place. Like I just connected somebody with a farm in Brazil yesterday. I don't have a license in Brazil. And I just listed a property in Connecticut with another agent. I don't have a license in Connecticut. So my clients are starting to come to me for the experience, not just to buy, sell. Right. So we want the videos. They want their most frequently asked questions answered for them right away. So well, what we're doing is we created five eight by eights. Let me know, let, let you know what those are. Okay. So one is for buyers. And what is an eight by eight? An eight by eight is eight separate videos or what we call eight separate touches. So eight separate videos or flyers or whatever with the most common questions you're going to have on the buy side. So then we created one for Zillow leads, Realtor.com leads, any third party leads. And we created one by referral. So if the client comes by referral, then there's a certain set of videos they watch. If the client comes by, you know, third party websites, there's a, another set of videos. Six of them are the same. It's just the first two that are different. And the only reason why we did that is because we, we have to warm them up to the whole dream experience. Otherwise we might shock them a little bit. Whereas, you know, the person that referred us already prepared them for that. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that's great. So the 36 touch, see, welcome to the dream team, how to win the day, the best apps for goal setting and how to stick to them. All these topics people really want to know about. How, do I, how I became a social media influencer, realtor checklist, how to pick the right realtor. All these topics people might pull up on social media and go, oh, I, I, I want to know more about this. And next thing you know, you picked up a new client. So right now, None of the thousand videos that I've recorded are available online except for my website. And I did that on purpose because I'm not yet ready to launch us to the whole world. We're still right. working on our structure and especially our dream world partnerships to be able to really start launching some of this amazing video content out there. Do you want to see what a video looks like real quick yeah. before we go? Yes. Okay. Let me show you. So here's a video I did with, this is a video that I like sharing a lot because it goes to show the power of relationships and what it can do for you. And I think a lot of agents can see that, yes, now I own a production company, but remember the ones that you'll get access to on the website, you'll see I basically recorded with my iPhone right in my office. So today I've obviously invested in video because it's working really well for me. And for the team. Hi, I'm Cheryl, and I met Mariana in 2011. I've known Mariana Costa since uh, 2006. I met Mariana, I would think, about 10 years ago. She was, I think, 17 when she came here. She knew two things, her name and her address. We kind of met accidentally. I was uh, looking to join a tennis club. 
she was trying to sell me a message. Okay. Okay. You know, Perfect. Can't. So what we'll do is we'll put this on the website. And um, all of these are on the website, you guys. So you don't have to feel like, oh my God, I really want to watch that. So what I did is I reached out to a lot of my clients and I asked them for coming out and helping me tell my story so that every time someone asked me, why dream, why me, why giving them our business, uh, we would just send out that video and pretty much it would do its job by itself. And we wouldn't need to be out there boasting about ourselves. And instead we let our clients do the talking for us. So we took testimonials and we did it through video. So that was one of the videos that was really good. The other videos we did are very similar model, um, close ups and then some video stock footage videos that you can download by the way. There's a great website you can go to called story blocks. Um, they have storyblocks.com. You can get a membership. They have some of the best, most high resolution stock footage that I've ever seen. And so if anyone is really interested in getting going with this, I do teach a webinar. I actually have one scheduled if you want to plug in. And again, you can add this to your email if you like. Um, you can plug into it. It's going to be launching, I believe, mid August. Let me get you the exact date. August. Well, and Mariana, we could, if, if you can email anybody on our team the link we'll add it to the comments so that oh, everybody who watches this this video later can can have access to that also um so so yeah that'll be that'll be really fun well look you're doing all of this stuff what if we put it back down and i because again people see this and 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 a lot of people just get overwhelmed just like you said you go don't think about 12 i have 12,000 people in my database just start with one just start with one where where what's what's maybe maybe if we narrowed it down to really simple thing what are the most important things people should be doing with their sphere right now so i would say number 1 pick up the phone and call them <laughs> How often? That's that's a question I like to ask people. How I mean, if they're past clients, how often are you picking up the phone? I would say right now, every I would say between four and six months. Okay. And Twice that's past clients. And that's for past clients. Yeah. And that's and, for and people that you know you're gonna stay in touch with. Now, of course, your A plus clients that and before we even go there. The pick up the phone is great, but before you even pick up the phone is go classify your database. Who do tell, you have? tell us what you mean. Yeah. Um, well, who do you have in your database and then come up with who's your dream client? What does your dream client look like to you? If today you could wave a magic wand and just make it happen. What do they look like? Yeah. Are they nice? Do they call you back? Are they pleasant when you call them? Right. Draw the picture of your dream client. And then as you're growing, growing through that database, remember that A usually attracts A, B attracts B, C attracts C, D attracts D. So people are usually rarely friends with really mean people if they're really friendly, right? right. Not a very good chance that's going to happen. So I would, to simplify it, I would just say, go look at the people you do have and then put a check mark next to the ones you actually want to go deeper with. You know, and, even and if you have 20 want, people, who are the three clarify, you're going to go deeper with? Let's clarify that though, um, because I think it's hard for people to separate what you're talking about. And you're, is, is going deeper about the relationship you want to have with these people or about the likelihood they're going to buy and sell more real estate? The relationship, the, the whole buying and selling real estate, you guys, if you're waking up right now thinking about what you're going to get, you're on the wrong side of the bed. It's that simple. I cannot make it clearer than that, okay? Cannot make it clearer. If you get out of your bed and your two feet go on the ground or, or not, okay, you get up, you wake up, and you're off to doing whatever you're doing. If your intentions are to get something, try, another, try it again. Wake up another day. And... What, I, what I'm going to get to is who are you going to help today? What are you giving? Not what are you getting? What are you giving? Meaning, if you call that, let's say out of the 10 people that you have on your database, you highlighted two that are super friendly. 
do you think they've used a plumber in their house? Whether they rent or they own, do you think they know a plumber or a painter or someone? Right? Yeah. So what I would do is I would call them and say, hi, I really care to be a great realtor for anyone that comes my way. And I realize that I don't have a lot of great resources. And I know that whoever buys a house with me is going to need people at a home inspection stage. And usually I get like 48 hours to get a roof or a painter and a, an electrician in there. And I don't even know where to begin. Would you happen to know a good electrician? Would you happen to know a good painter? Would you happen to know a good carpenter? And you're now engaging into a whole new level of conversation with a person that has nothing to do with real estate, but it's still related to their house. You are still telling them that the reason why you're getting it is because you're a realtor right. and because you want to do a great job. So you're still getting the message across, but you're not being so direct like everyone else. Like, hi, would you like to buy or sell a house? Right. No, you know, like at my answer, you no, know, I don't want to buy or sell a house. But if you call me and say, I'm doing a survey in the area for, people that I can recommend, boom, people are going to be willing to help you. So, so I, so you get the plumber recommend. Oh, I know I have a guy. He's a, the best plumber on the planet. Here's his number. You call that plumber and say what? I say, let's go get together either through video or a cup of coffee. I want to know more about your business. I want to know if you're already referring business to another realtor. Cause I know you come across a lot of opportunities, you know, as you're going out and about and, what happens if you go into somebody's house and they say, I'm selling? Do you have somebody you refer? And then my take is the more referrals I give him, even if he tells me he has a realtor, the more referrals I give them and the more You'll I stay in touch, the, like, the more likely they are for slowly that relationship. Guys, it's all a matter of constant contact. You know, if you're not, you know, staying within that top of mind, um, you're not really, you know, reminding them, Hey, I'm here to be of assistance to you. They're going to forget about you, no matter how great you were. That's why the statistics are, you know, 87% of people say they would buy with the same agent again, but only 11% actually do. That's why, because you lose contact. Right. And the reason why you lose contact is because how many times can you call someone twice a year to say Merry Christmas and happy birthday? And that's great. That's a good way to stay in touch, but that doesn't make a difference in their lives. That doesn't save the day. That doesn't make a big enough impact right. for you to show that you really care. If you're the one that they call when they're at a <gasps> moment and you save their butts, oh yeah, you've made a big difference. And now they are, you've elevated the level of relationship that you have with that particular person. So right. it doesn't have to be contractors. Maybe you want to make it restaurants. Maybe you want to make it, the best beaches to visit, or you want to make it the best, you know, charities around, like make it about something they care about, not what you care about. And that's what I mean by get up thinking about getting instead of giving you're on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah. I love that. So I, I want to play that back. Cause we're, um, I, I think we could probably talk for another hour here, but let me, a little bit back because bring because me back I was whenever you need to. I'm yeah, in. <laughs> I, was, I was writing down notes uh, because again, I want to go back to. I want the people who are listening to be able to say, I, "I could do that, right? I could start there." So here's what you said. It doesn't matter if it's your. Here's. I'm I'm, I'm adding to what you said. So if I'm wrong, stop me. All good. But it doesn't matter if it's your phone or a spreadsheet or you need to go back and write a list of people who you know and have done business with. But go through and and check the ones that you really want to have a good relationship with. Probably that goes back to the A's attractive. You want you want to find somebody who you think like that. You probably can go deeper and have this deep relationship with. Correct. Got step one. Step two, get on the phone with them. Go through that process of, hey, I want to be a great realtor and I need great resources. Who do you know? That That not only reminds those people that you're in real estate, and that you that that your desires to be great, um, but it also gives them a chance to to go. Oh yeah, I got a guy, you know. Then you call. Then you can. So you continue to do that. Meanwhile, you're also establishing relationships with the vendors or or contractors or nonprofits or whatever it is that you want to be that you want to do, and you're calling them to form business partnerships Correct. to say, Hey, I, I want. I need. I you know. I buy and sell homes. Let me. 
you know, let's. Uh, like how do you think I own a production company today? How do you think that started? Tell me. <laughs> well, I started with my video guy that then became somebody that became a partner and then I bought his company, right? So it, it's, it, it's an involvement. So here's yeah. what I say. Step one, have a, have a giver's mindset. That's really step one. Is right. Have a giver's mindset. Step two would be surround yourself with people that you really enjoy spending time with. Guys, we have one life. You don't want to go spend eight, nine hours a day getting hung up on. I'm sorry. So think about who are the people that are going to lift you up and surround yourself with them. Even if you're still a transactional agent and you're looking to shift into a relationship, becoming a relationship-driven business, then what you should do is just add one hour to your calendar schedule that priority for yourself add one hour for you to start digging deeper into this list that we're talking about right and then number three go get that list going like who are the people that have brought you um this this joy through working and then go deeper with the people they know so that's what i mean about go deeper not wider is now start getting to know the people they know and then the people they know and the people they know and the people they know that's the deeper so, so I, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. um, there's some people that need a transaction now. Yeah. Right? I mean, there, there's still those people who, 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 and, and what I don't, want, I don't want anybody listening to go, yeah, but I, 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 I'm, I'm at a crossroads here. I either have to sell a home and get a commission check or I gotta, I gotta go, go find a job. Me when I have was 22 months in real estate without a paycheck, right? So how do you think I felt? I yeah, know so that. Tell, so what do you do? Because what if they go? I you I, have to I believe don't. in guys. It goes back again to mindset, and I hate if I'm preaching like too much about this, but you're gonna have to make the decision because no matter where you go, do you want to go back to where you started because you've already made progress. You are already farther than you were when you started. And if you are getting to that point where, wow, I need a, a paycheck, start looking at other ways to make money that relate back to real estate. I was a bartender, a babysitter, a house cleaner, and everybody got my real estate cards, no matter what. Okay, so I'm saying, like I used to work at a gym membership. That's why that guy that was like, she was trying to sell me a membership like she was trying to sell me a million dollar home. I used to sell gym memberships and I negotiated with the boss that I would get paid half, but I was able to leave and show a house anytime I wanted because I was, I, my neighborhood was around the corner and you can pay me half what you would pay someone else, but I just want the freedom to go and be able to do my business. So figure something else out, but don't sacrifice your integrity for a quick paycheck because that's the kind of energy that you create for yourself that it's like you're on your way down from there. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not going to help you get what you want. And remember that what you do today pays off in about two to three months. Okay. I, that, I so, mean, that's, that's gold right there. I mean, you know, it's like, it's going to pay off. Whatever you do today is not going to pay off for another three months. So if your mindset is I'm quitting, then in three months you'll have quit. But yeah. if your mindset is, how can I shift my mindset right now and start getting my name in front of some people, I'll tell you, they do refer you. Because if you're the one sitting down with them, educating them, and this is what I would say is very important, is go share with them why you got into the business. What is it about this business that it got you in and that kept you in? And what keeps you going to work? Vulnerability is huge today. Yeah. You know, being authentic and sharing that vulnerable spot of, wow, it's been a tough last few months. But I will tell you, I'm still going to work every day. I know something will break. Who knows? Maybe you're the one that's got to lead for me today. Right? So just be positive. That's the one thing you can control right now is your attitude. Yeah. That's the only thing you can control today. That would be my number one thing is control your mindset. And then control your world, your environment, the people you have around you, and then control your calendar. And then be really good about where you put your time. Everything else will take care of itself. If you want to talk right. about step one, two, and three, 
control yourself and your mindset, control your environment and the people you're surrounded by, and then just go control your calendar. Right. And with those three, you're going to be able to do just fine. Love it. I love it. Well, we're going to have to go talk to Marissa, who controls your calendar and and, yes. and schedule you to come back because because there's so much more we could keep talking about. Um, well, I'll tell you the top two things I could come to share your with your team. One would okay. be how did the videos go? Like, what were the fears I had with recording? Because I bet you a lot of people right now are like, yeah, I'd love to record, but I don't know what to say. Yeah, what I'm say? not good on camera. So like, what are all of those fears? I can talk about that, how I overcame them and how I started with basically this, <laughs> like no joke, this on a tripod facing towards me and I went. And I wasn't comfortable with it because again, my English was not, a I, I'm much better with my English than I was, you know, five, six, seven years ago. So I will say um, that would be one. The other one is I teach a class that's called Video 101. So that's um, so that's Video 101 class. The next class I have is called Leverage Your Dream Business. So the Leverage Your Dream Business is more about how to put a team together, how to train them, and so that might be on a higher level. But I think the video 101 would help you guys a lot. And I talk about how to use video to reach back out to the client. Uh, and we're getting comments that are coming in saying, yes, we should do that. So, okay. so let's plan on a, a more tactical. We'll just get in the nitty gritty of, of, of you know, step yeah, one. Like, what that. tripod so, you I buy? Do, what lights yeah, you use? So Where do you be great. All of that. So yeah. if, if you're interested in that, make sure that you're subscribed to our podcast and make sure you go into the comments and, and that you want to do that. Um, we're, we're going to put your contact information because you offered so many cool resources. We'll make sure that gets posted for everybody in the comments. Just I'll share I, my I screen know, with you and you'll see, this is the place to go real quick, Curtis, just so you okay. show them. Yep. This is the portal right there. That's where you go. I dream international.com. I dream international.com. That's it. That's where you're going to have all the divisions yeah. of the company. So this is the real estate division. That's the dream world I was telling you about that. If you're excited about, wow, I want to be a part of this dream world. It's just talking about go apply. Then dream business solutions is we, I own a company that designs all of these websites, all of these softwares. I own six companies right now. So they're all here. Uh, dream gives and our referred specialists. I talked to you guys about, and then if you're, in seeing a lot of our productions here you already have some um some interviews i've done um some houses i've sold none of these are the videos i'm talking about to educate these are more like productions but right. you can come here to get some ideas and some inspiration love it they've already already posted posted that in the comment section there was a lot of questions we didn't get to um the team that's that's my number that's my big weakness um is is for getting people are asking questions so you want to give um, me like you want to be you want me to stay three more and take at least one question so yeah, that you let, don't hang up on all of them let, yeah <laughs> let's, let's ask a couple of questions here and make sure we get to a few of these i'll, I'll try to combine you know because there's different mm -hmm. platforms i'll try that's to questions in, into one, but um, what what CRM are you using? What 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 software or programs are you using to, to manage all of this communication? The first one, communications with my team is through Asana. Which is a task. Yep. like the yoga pose. Task. Yep. Um, and and we'll, hopefully we're, we'll capture these and post these as in, in as resources, but Asana is a task management. Um, yep, so that's okay. for my team. So my team Barely texts each other and barely emails each other. It's all on a song. Okay. So there's not a lot of crisscross communications between our team members, which really helps a lot. Right. Um, the team for CRM, I use the referral maker by Buffini, which I love. Yep. And I usually get discounts for that. So if you're interested, let me know because I can probably right. get you a better price. And um, that's basically it. And then for videos, we just use Vimeo. Because Vimeo allows you to be able to uh, have way more features around how many people can see it, how many people can access it. Um, so we use Vimeo for all of our video library. That's awesome. That's it. Well, and that covered a lot of the questions people are asking. Well, what you know about the technology and things? There, there's other questions, but maybe we'll send you, and you can jump in and 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 yeah. help there. I, I'm honored to have been here with you guys. Oh, I'm sorry man, I can't stay any longer. So I wish I could stay uh, another hour with all of you. 
Well, thank you, you for go, having you me go. and dream on. Right. Go thank you so it. much. <laughs> if you could, if you could hang out for just a few more minutes, Mariana, after, after the show, um, for everyone watching, thank you so much. I hope you, I, I took, I took two pages of notes here. So, um, I'm sorry, I, know I, I'm I, a lot. <laughs> I, I, I hope, I, I hope you got, um, a lot of that stuff out of it also. Um, just as a reminder, we do these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, very consistently on Friday. Oh, today's Friday. On Monday, we have Cammie Baker, who's been a guest before coming back. She has this really cool topic to talk about where we're talking about making sure you get full commission, right? It's, it's a full commission strategy, um, which in this market is tough, right? A lot of discount brokers and, and inventory and people are competing for the listings. So I think, I think you'll really enjoy that on Monday. So for people, make sure you tune in there. And then again, on Wednesday, we have another guest who is a, is, is another sphere of influence ninja and, and we'll hopefully get some more advice from there. So, um, and Candy Other than Baker that, is great, by the way, CandyBaker.com. We designed her site. She's oh, awesome. You guys awesome. have to plug in. Okay. Have that's great. In. That's, that's a uh, small world, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, other than that, for those watching to continue the conversation, because we always want to make sure you go to our, our forum. If you're one of our customers, you can access that through Vortex, your platform, or go to forum.theredx.com. Otherwise, on Facebook, we have uh, the, the Elite Prospector group. Go ahead and join that, and we can continue these conversations there. We'll send those links over to Mariana and her team, and hopefully yeah. they can help participate in those conversations. Um, but thank you so much for everybody who joined, and thank you, Mariana. And, yeah. and Echo thank Dream you so on. Thank you so much Thanks for having everybody. me. Thanks.